need to know, your one-stop shop for events coming up this week in Caldwell County and here on CCG TV. I'm your host, Eric Stafford, and let me tell you what you need to know this week. This week in news, the Caldwell County Public Library Board of Trustees and staff recently selected Ava Weaver, a sophomore of South Caldwell, as winner of their mural contest. Now, Weaver submitted a design featuring an open book, and out of the pages emerged many different beloved storybook images. The images include a unicorn, a pirate ship, a dragon, a cat playing the fiddle, and many more works of childhood fantasy. She will join members of the Caldwell Early College Art Club to paint the mural on the wall at the children's section of the new Southern Branch, which will focus primarily on serving children, teens, and young adults. Staff and trustees awarded Sophie Davis, an eighth grader at Heritage Christian School, second place. Davis will also have her artwork displayed in the new Southern Branch Library. Winners were chosen for more than 60 entries created by school-aged children and art classes in the Caldwell County School System. The Southern Branch of the Caldwell County Library is located at 63 North Main Street in Granite Falls and will have the same extended hours as the main branch with evening hours on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Thursdays. The branch is scheduled to open on Friday, June 4th, and we all want to see that painting. And uh, uh, I know that Mr. Keegan Matheson is, uh, uh, supposed, is scheduled to shoot that, shoot them painting it. So that'll be interesting, and hopefully we'll have some good video of that. Ex uh, so it, it's pretty, that's pretty exciting uh, for the new southern branch of the library to open and to have your artwork on display. That's pretty cool. Now, uh, are you excited? Because you should be excited. Excited to announce that the Town of Sawmill Summer Kickball League is opening on May 24th. If you want to register as an individual, you can visit their website at townofsawmills.com. To register a team, you need to contact Tanner Green at tgreen, with an E, at townofsawmills.com or townofsawmillsnorthcarolina.com by the way, or call us at 828-270-5051. Minimum participant age is 13 years old and the cost is $40 per person. We look forward to seeing you on the diamond, they say in uh, uh, sawmills there. And if you've not played kickball like that, we had a team here when I first started and it was it was something, it was something. And that kickball is giant, it's big. <laughs> it's really weird playing kickball when you're an adult. It's, it, it's, it's different. It's different. It, it was a lot of fun. In recognition of Older Americans Month, the Caldwell County Department of Social Services and the Caldwell Senior Center will host a drive through health fair on Friday, May 28th from 1 till 3 p.m. in the parking lot of the Health and Human Services Building, you know, over there at the Sheriff's Department, located on Morganton Boulevard in Lenore. Nationwide, the theme for Older Americans Month is communities of strength, recognizing the important role of older Americans that they play in fostering and the connection of engagement, and they build strong, resilient communities, which is true, you know, you sit there snapping beans with Meemaw, you learn a lot of stuff. Uh, the, part, the Department of Social Services and Caldwell Senior Center encourage community members to find out ways to connect and share their experience with the rest of their neighbors. And, and we love the older Americans and that, uh, they just recently did a child safety fair that way and it was really cool. So all you gotta do is drive through, get your bag of goodies, drive on out, it's pretty cool. Uh, the Caldwell Arts Council is pleased to announce the CCC and TI student exhibit will open to the public on May 21st and will be on display through June 30th of 2021. Art in this exhibition includes Associate of Fine Arts candidates from Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute and will be available for viewing on the second floor gallery of the Caldwell Arts Council. The works were created by advanced students in Thomas Thielman's painting and printmaking two classes and include Heidi Dominique Torres, I so ruined that, Cassandra Corres, and Sarah Moore. So good luck there, Sarah Moore. If you are interested in learning more about CCC and TI's art program, feel free to contact Thomas Thielman at tthielman at cccnti.edu, or you can call them at 828-759-8183. That's 828-759-8183 for Thomas Thielman. Great artist, great guy to have around. Uh, the Caldwell County Farmer's Market in downtown Lenore is open now on Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. And if you had any doubts, the Town of Sawmills Farmer's Market is open every Tuesday from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. May through September, weather permitting, if it starts raining, 
No guarantees. That's all I'm saying. Now, meetings coming up this week. The Lenore Planning Board is meeting Monday at, uh, Monday, Monday the 24th, that is, at 5.30 p.m. here in the City County Chamber at the Alden East Arms Building in Lenore. And on Tuesday, the DSS Board, Caldwell County DSS Board, that is, is meeting at May 25th at 5 p.m. here in the City County Chamber at the Alden East Arms Building here in Lenore. Now, finally, our Pets of the Week from the Caldwell County Animal Shelter. This dog is missing her family. I'm a female German Shepherd Collie mix and I can't find my family. If you've seen them, ask them to call Animal Control at 828-757-8625. So that's the first one. Uh, male cat seeking a play pal. I'm a seven week old male domestic short hair and I'm looking for someone who likes to play. If you like, uh, if you live in an active lifestyle and want a playful pet, you can call the Animal Control for me at 828-757-8625. Remember, you can call the Animal Control at any time at 757-8625 and see about adopting a pet. These are just two that we featured here this week. Now, if you have something that you need to know and want other people to know, email me at eStafford at CaldwellCountyNC.org and I will be happy to feature it here on Need to Know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.